Welcome to the Microsoft Tips Showcase, where we provide quick, single-topic videos on how to do something within a Microsoft-related tool, such as SharePoint, Dynamics, Office, etc. These tips are brought to you by SV MacPack, a certified veteran-owned and hub-zone consulting firm supporting primarily the U.S. federal government. In support of our customers' need to maximize the value of the tools they currently invest in, we started creating related videos. We hope these videos help you as well. In this video, you'll learn how to modify a library's audience targeting settings. We'll move quickly to keep the video short, but don't worry, if you don't get it the first time, you can watch the video again to really understand this lesson. We're going to go ahead and get started by clicking on a pro document library, so I have project files. When it comes up, I'm going to click on the library tab to open the library ribbon. I'm going to come over here to the settings command group and click on library settings. Under the General Settings column, you'll see Audience Targeting Settings. We'll go ahead and click on this, and you'll notice that it's pretty easy to determine whether the audience is set or not just by checking that box. So let's pause for one second right here and just talk about what audience is. Audiences, audiencing is not security. Security is when you block access completely. Um, I do not have the ability to read or to write to a file. But when you're doing audience, it's more about whether it's visible to people, whether they can see it. Um, think about it, it almost like a filter, if you will. And so for audience targeting, that's kind of helpful when you want to display information that's only useful to certain people, but in an environment that a larger group of people have access to. So let's say the entire organization has access to this project files document library. But I'm putting something in that I only need the project team to be aware of. Um, and so I can drop uh, a file into the project files. Let me go ahead and guide us back to the document library and actually do that. So if I come in here to project files, I can put a, uh, an item in here and say, I want to secure this file to, uh, let's go ahead and manage the properties. I want to audience this, excuse me, not secure. I want to audience this just to um, the project members. Let's see if I got that group in there. Okay, so let me remove that. Let's see if I can remember what I put in here. There's a group of SharePoint users that I know members is in their name. That's not correct. Member is in their name. And, um, okay, so it comes up. Here's a different group of people in here. And so let's just go ahead and choose the, um, the hierarchy managers for the moment. It doesn't really matter what the group's called. But I'm saying now that I want this white paper to be targeted only to that one little group of people. When I hit save, audiencing is now on that item. It doesn't happen everywhere, so you'll notice when you come back to the document library, the users can see all the files. Again, it's not security, it's audiencing. The place you would use audiencing, and let me take you and show you an example pretty fast on this, is here's a web part that's showing just the, all the files that are in there. But if we wanted to put something similar on there that is embracing audiencing, I'm going to go ahead and edit the page. And I'm doing this very fast, but I'm going to add a web part called Content Query. There we go. Um, sorry, Content Query. I'm going to add the Content Query web part. And this, this lesson is not about teaching about the web part, but it's teaching about audiencing. So in future training, you can find more about the content query web part. But at the moment, we're going to edit the web part and tell it to point to that project files document library, but apply audiencing. And so you'll see the difference between a web part that has no audiencing applied and a web part that does. So let's go ahead and go here to the query. I want to tell them that I want a particular document library. I'm going to browse to that document library. And here, I know the library is under this Microsoft Tips Showcase site. It's the project files. I'll select OK. So now I've determined which one, it, which library I'm showing. It automatically knows it's a document library. And now I'm going to come back down here for the last part, audience targeting. I'm going to say apply audience filtering. And here I'll just say OK. Let me go ahead and save out of this page. Okay, so you'll notice that here's the content query web part. It, it, you could call this anything, right? Any re relevant title. But I'm going to change the group now. 
Actually, let's change it up here. So instead of changing the audience, I'll just change the security. I'm going to go into security settings really quick to people and groups. And I'm going to look at the different groups we had, and it was hierarchy managers. There's my name. Let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and remove me from this group. And go home really quick. Now you'll notice that I'm no longer able to see it. It's not secured, it's just audienced. So as a user, I can go to the document library and see all the files. But when I want to audience content, you have this ability to target what you're doing, and it's a great no-code solution to uh, deciding what to show people and what not to show people dynamically based on their role in the organization. That concludes this lesson. I hope you found this tip useful as you continue to use Microsoft-related products in support of your day-to-day -day job. Please provide me with feedback in the comments, letting me know how I can make the Microsoft Tips Showcase channel and actually the actual tips more useful to you. Feel free to suggest tips we can create for you and we'll get them on the schedule. Finally, if you found this tip helpful, please share it with others. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join me again for other tips.